at the first half highlights here as the Bucks take the field to what you mentioned, Coach Cooper, as another record crowd at Ohio Stadium, and the tone was set right from the kickoff. Jeff, you got to pin that, that back on their own goal line. They mishandled the opening kickoff and, and put the ball in play on about the three. That's great coverage right there by uh, number 26 for us, uh, Will Allen. Uh, but unfortunately, they come off the goal line here. Play action pass. They throw a jump ball throw off his back foot. Throws the ball about 45 yards. We have got to make those plays. We've got two defensive backs. And uh, their wide receiver comes down with the football. Got him out of great, uh, out of great, uh, bad field position. Nate Clemens comes right back with a pass break up here. Good though. play by Nate Clemens. We get the football, and and sometimes I think this hurts you. It almost looks too easy early in the ball game. First uh, running play of the game for us. Off right tackle, great blocking. Derek Combs breaks the ball outside and picks up uh, 40 some odd yards, 46 yards here for a big gainer for the Buckeyes. Now we get a a, a penalty on this drive. Which, uh, which stops the drive. We come right back here with uh, Jonathan Wells, number 28, who had an outstanding ball game for us uh, and gained some yardage uh, off left tackle, but we, we, we get a penalty. We stop the drive. Danny Stoltz comes in here and kicks a, what is this, a 45-yard field goal? 49 40, yards plus, 49 and, and, yard and that's, a, that's, a, that's a stout field goal there to get things started, but like you said, the, the penalty took you out of field goal position, field, uh, field position that you wanted for the seven points. Absolutely. Uh, we come right back and force them to punt the football. Nate Clements is doing an outstanding job returning for us, number 20. Gets the ball outside. Uh, I'll tell you what, their punter <laughs> did a nice job. Good hit right on the sideline. you got to give him credit. Most of the time, those punters aren't very good tacklers, you know. He'll hear that from his buddies without right. him taking a hit from the kicker like that. Boy, but then it's Mike Bath back to work. Again. Mike Bath did a great job of looking the receiver off. He, uh, he looked one way, threw back across the field, and that is a, ni a nice play there, by uh, again, by Nate Clemens. They hurt us with a draw play. We were rushing, trying to rush. Uh, we had a lot of success last week rushing Arizona's quarterback, and they had a good game plan. They hurt us with a draw. Pickup of 12 on the draw, and Bath again. This time he's chased, and he picks up a first down. He's a big, strong quarterback there that, uh, you know, not real flashy, but he's moving the chains, and they're keeping the football for long periods of time. How about that one? We had him right there. That's a third down play. Uh, I think it was a fourth down play. We had him in our grasp, but he got he got to, got loose and completed the pass for a first down. Three to nothing, end of the first quarter score, and uh, Miami of Ohio comes right back with a 49-yard field goal of their own there to tie things up at three apiece. They have a good kicking game. I thought their place kicker did a nice job. Uh, 49 yards into the win. That was a good, good job. Andy Brumberg makes good on that. And then it's first pass completion. Had to wait till the second quarter, but it's a biggie, 44 yards to Kenyon Rambo. Again, they're, they're, they're bunched up trying to stop our running game. you got to be able to throw the football, protect your quarterback, and throw the ball. Nice job by Kenyon Rambo, Captain Kenyon Rambo. 35-yard field goal then. You line up for it, and uh, as you say, no excuse for this. No, no, absolutely no excuse. We work on this every day. We got, a, I think, I don't know if it was a bad snap, bad hold, or whatever. The timing was off a little bit. They blocked the field goal, and they get the ball on the 20-yard line. Again, that, that sort of that sort of gives them a, a pep rally, so to speak, Then takes a lot of wind out of our sails. And Steve comes right back down the middle on the, on the third down play to Kenyon Rambo. And you're going to see him come right back here and go to Chad Cascio. All Chad does is catch touchdown passes for us here. Good, <laughs> That's right. Good play action fake. Uh, good protection. Chad catches that one there for a first down. His first non-touchdown catch of the season. Third overall catch. His fourth one will be coming up in a little bit. But Belisari again. This time he's on the move. He gets chased and uh, is brought down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss yeah. as the pocket breaks down. Got to stay in your pocket and throw the football. Protect our quarterback a little better than we did there in certain situations. We're going to get the ball back here I think pretty quickly we'll let their tight end come down the middle you cannot do that you play a kind of secondary we're playing you got to keep the tight end out of the middle Mike Sullivan pickup of 24 and then Eddie Tillett's a pickup of seven on yeah, this pass. poor tackling good running or whatever but poor tackling by our defensive back Bath again this time a pickup of 13 yards on the ground Jeff he did a great job of that the whole ball game we we tried to come with pressure and we weren't staying in our lanes our, our rush people were not staying in their lanes he did a nice job converting uh, for those kind of plays for first down. Great throw and catch here for a touchdown. What can you say? Good protection, and Mike Bath put it on the money. Number three caught the ball there for a touchdown. 10-3, to three, the score at that point. Red Hawks take the lead after a little powwow here. Jonathan uh, Wells takes it 16 yards. Our football team is upset now. They come back and do a nice job blocking, and, and you mentioned Jonathan Wells, number 28, went over 100 yards rushing in the ball game, did a nice job. Now we go up top to Chad Cascio on a first and 10 play from the 35-yard line. Come back to Chad, and he's a, he's missed a touchdown. You see uh, Steve hits, hits him right on the money. Chad makes a good move on their corner and puts the ball in the end zone. Big play for the Buckeyes. Cascio's fourth catch 
for the Buckeyes this season. Third one for a touchdown. Ties the game up at 10 to 10. As you go to halftime, uh, some of your thoughts as uh, as you played a, a Mac opponent again, a 10-10 tie. You're in a battle. Well, absolutely, you're in a battle. Uh, you know, this ball game is a little bit like a heavyweight fight. You let that. You let your underdog. Uh, you know. Uh, you don't knock him out early in, early in the bout. You let him live a few rounds, and you got a contest on your hands. That's, that's exactly what happened in the football game. All right, well, we'll go to halftime, tied at 10. When we come back, we'll see who's got the knockout punch for second-half highlights. Stay with us. It folds, but first off, we take to the air, and Kenyon Rambo, 13-yard pickup on the Steve Belisari pass. A lot better protection, I thought, in the second half. Steve had, had more time to pick out his secondary receivers. Here's Darnell Sanders open in the flat, and our tight end, number 89. We've got to go to our tight end. We've got to go to our backs a lot more, I think, than we did in this ball game. Uh, the drive stalls and uh, Danny comes, Dan Stoltz comes in, number 47, kicks another field goal. He's had a good year so far kicking the ball. But uh, you got to put him away right here. Now, this is a possibility a, of a big defensive play here. They call that intentional grounding, and uh, Miami maintained possession of the football. Brent Johnson wrapped we're him up there. Uh, we're going to get the yeah. ball. We're going to get the ball right back. Our defense gets the ball for the offense. Here's an option play. Steve did a nice job. 24 yards, I believe, on the option play. Nice job running the football. Probably probably need to run him a little more on options and stuff like that. Big pickup in his biggest positive gain of the day. Then Wells finds a big hole here. Uh, you like great, that ball like that. Great blocking. Let's give the credit right there to our fullback, the offensive line and the fullback, though. We run the, what we call the isolation play, and our, our fullback right there, Jamar Martin, did a great job on the linebacker. You score on two consecutive drives, so it looks at 20 to 10 at this point, things are coming into hand. Jeff, you, here's where you gotta, you got to take charge of the ball game and put them away. We get, we've got a little momentum going. We've got the crowd back in the game, and here's Jonathan Wells with a good off-tackle play, cut back against the green. But as you had done before, uh, the knockout punch didn't come just yet, and uh, Mike Bath keeps him alive. Heard ourselves, and here's Mike Bath running the ball, doing a nice job on the op what looked like an option. Nice job carrying the football, and they take that one. Instead of us going to score and, and putting the ball game away, they come right back and take the ball right down the field. Again, a great throw and catch here for the touchdown. Put it the only place he could. He finds the uh, Columbus native, Ty Buxton, there for the touchdown. And a good football player. Ty played a great game against us. 23 yards for the senior there. And then it's Bath again, this uh, time on the ground, and lose a uh, Buckeye rush. You cannot leave your feet like that. We had a linebacker come free. He left his feet. And he, as you, you can see right there, Mike Bath did a great job. We're fortunate he didn't, he didn't score on that particular play. 40 yards on the pickup, but uh, a 21-yard field goal attempt was no good there, so you thwarted that drive, dodged the bullet. And we dodged the bullet. We stopped him there, sacked the quarterback a couple times, and here's a great interception by Nate Clement, number 20. Uh, Nate is having a great year for us, and one of the better cornerbacks we've had here at Ohio State. And his first of the year there. We come right back, uh, again, trying to move the ball on the ground. That's uh, Derek Combs, I believe, carrying the ball, number 43, out of Grove City. Eight hard yards picked up on that play. Sets up another field goal. This one from 21 yards for we, Dan Stokes. We get, we get a break here. This is a, this is a, this would have put us up seven. And uh, they, they roughly hold it. And absolutely no question about the call. And this is first and goal. So we're going to come back. And they're all bunched in inside. So we pitch the ball back to Jerry West. I mean to uh, Jonathan Wells. And Jonathan, number 28, puts the ball in. So. In for the touchdown. Puts the Buckeyes up 27 to 16 at this point in the ball game. Fourth quarter, Rodney Bailey. I felt a lot better there, Jeff. They got to score twice to beat us. That's Captain Rodney Bailey, number 94, coming off the corner. One of the few sacks we had. I think we, I think we only sacked him maybe once or twice in the entire game. Again, a good job of their quarterback, Biden time, gets out of the pocket and uh, throws the football. But uh, that is a great interception right there by number seven, Derek Ross, for us. Great interception. Derek's a real fine athlete. Can be a real impact football player for the Buckeyes. Cuts in front of the receiver on a third and ten play, and here another interception on a second and five. Bath looking deep. Yeah, this is David Mitchell. David's really really playing good football for us. Uh, number number three out of Westerville did a nice nice job there, high pointing the football, and that uh, that uh, that shows up the victory. All right, 27 to 16. The final coach uh, shake hands with Terry Hepner, one of the uh, the cradle of coaches. Uh, and, and over I, at Miami. I, I thought Terry Hepner and his, and his coaching staff, uh, John Peterson, Bob, uh, uh, Joe Palasik, and some other guys that that have ties here at Ohio State did a great job getting their football team mentally and physically ready to play. They had a great game plan, and the credit goes to their coaches and players.